Hello students, welcome to EPG Paatshala. I am Professor Tejinder Sharma, Department of Commerce, Kurukshetra University, Kurukshetra. Today we are going to discuss the topic IT and International Human Resource Management. After completing this module, you will be able to understand the concept of International Human Resource Management and Information Technology. Understand the role of information technology in international human resource management. You will also be able to know about the human resource information system and discuss the challenges and issues pertaining to the impact of IT on international human resource management. Introduction Business is becoming global and complex. To counter as well as to adapt according to various problems, complexities and challenges, management of human resource has become the center of attention for any organization. One cannot underestimate the importance of human resources. It is the key task of the strategic management of any firm. Human resource management plays a very crucial role in the strategic management decisions as well. Now, organizations need to manage the international human resources. Here, the main problem starts as to how to acquire, how to train, how to motivate and how to manage them, so that the firm's overall organizational performance could increase. There are rapid changes in the businesses, which result in increase of importance to the human resource potential, because now the human resources can be turned into human capital for any organization and it contains some of the qualitative parameters of productivity, profitability and success of any changes in the business era. The main aim of human resources towards achieving the competitiveness lies in the field of human resource management. It can be achieved by providing the regular training and educational programs. It has become necessary for the employees personal development as well. With the usage of information technology in the human resource management, the organizations can achieve all these aims of good human resource policy and competitiveness. Now let us try to define this whole term. International human resource management is the procurement, allocation and utilization and motivation of the human resources in the international businesses. IHRM as you already know is an interaction between three factors the type of employees, the environment of the countries and the basic HR processes. In all these three components, information and communication technology, also known as ICT, has become a major input in a firm's uh, inputs to improve its internal processes, core competencies, organizational structures as well as relevant markets on a global scale. With an all encompassing impact of ICT on the firm's operations, the human resource management is also being influenced by the same. Firms need to have a strategic plan to integrate their human resources, particularly in the global context with the information and communication technologies in line with the overall corporate strategy. These strategies are led to prepare an IT strategic plan that in turn translates into an appropriate human resource strategic plan in the field of information technology. Role of information technology in international human resource management. Information technology has a very significant role in the international human resource management. It has enabled the organizations to take decisions quickly on the real time basis of the availability of information. IT has also revolutionized the process of human resource management with the use of intranet, extranet, applications, databases, analytics and other tools. Human resource management has become more efficient and the human resources can work efficiently and more smartly. Training sessions have been conducted through online classes or virtual classrooms. It is also called virtual ed education. It enhances the speed as well as the accuracy of the performance of the employees. 
information technology, remote collaboration and virtual jobs all are possible with the help of information technology. It is through the use of information technology that the performance can be evaluated timely which is helpful in the timely feedback. It is because of the information technology that extensive and timely use of internet and intranet networks. It is also helpful to maintain transparency and integrity in the firm's system design. The information management makes it easier to focus and also enable the employees to get access to information. Centralized systems store data, standardize information, facility information exchange and it also increases the reliability, speedy access of information, etc. This in turn results in lesser wastage of time and human efforts as well as the financial and human costs. Information technology is also useful in conducting the development activities and developing the staff skills. Various role of information technology in international human resource management. The first in this is the EHRM that is electronic human resource management. EHRM is an online system that enables the human resource department to manage the workforce and run the business effectively which results in the business growth and achieve the competitiveness. It encourages to improve the productivity of workforce and win competition. EHRM also helps the human resource department to take care of employees personal data, payroll system, training and development and other programs efficiently. EHRM is mainly concerned with the recruitment and training of workforce in the organizations. EHRM is mainly concerned with the recruitment and training of the workforce in the organization. EHRM is an IT application for supporting or connecting at least two people or the collaborative actors in participating HR activities. Recruitment Earlier, organizations were dependent on the advertisements in the newspapers, magazines, internal referrals, word of mouth and contractors to search for the potential employees. But now, there are many online portals and sources which are available to find a large number of suitable candidates such as monster.com, nokri.com, there are several firms, websites, blogs, social networking sites like LinkedIn where recruiters can get a wide number of the candidates. They can now select the right candidate for both role and the organization as a whole. When conducting various employment tests and interviews, it has become much easier. There are many in-house and outsourced online test platforms which are available which results in time and cost saving. Training After the inclusion of technology in the human resource practices, it has become important to give IT training to the employees who handle the HR system. There is an issue which arised that IT training should be given by the IT professional team or other employees of the organization. The solution to the problem is that IT training should be imparted by the IT professional teams because they understand the information technology better. It is the information technology which makes it possible to train the employees in an efficient manner and provide them to access the firm's information and training schedules from re remote locations. This enables the trainers to work or connect with the newly recruited employees easily. Yes, we agree that there are needs of certain kinds of direct and physical interactions to some level. But on the other hand, virtual classrooms are playing a significant role to make it possible to train the employees in large numbers easily. They can also assess their performance by way of online testing programs. Virtual classrooms have become very popular nowadays and now training programs can be embedded 
into the human resource systems. Performance management. Information technology has made the task of performance manager much easier. There are many software which are available to do the performance management and much more accurately than by the human being. For example, we have halogen performance, we have lattice, we have clear compound, we have big data analytics and we have high grounds. It also helps to give suitable rewards to the employees. This has resulted in the increased employee satisfaction and loyalty towards the work and the organization. Flow of information. We cannot imagine a single day without non-functioning of office inbox. It is the technology which has made it easier to communicate with the peers within the organization. It has made easy to send and receive important information over mails and in-house company messengers. Cloud-based technologies allow the employees to work from home while they are on leave or even holiday. Thus, employees do not require sitting in the office all time. Data management. Multinational employees have a large number of employees from various countries. So, managing the large amount of data related to the employees as well as the potential candidates is not an easy task. It requires a lot of space, time, efforts and costs. Sometimes we need some records and it's not easy to locate the records timely. This results in the delay in taking decisions. Cloud storage has solved these kinds of problems. It has made possible to store large amount of data using e-files on the cloud. It is easy to organize and assess within a few seconds with the help of few clicks. It has streamlined the records, saved space, paper and time. Data and information are also secured and there is more confidential information which can be stored on the cloud. Thus, information technology has made the data management very easy. Ethics and employee rights. Employers have maintained electronic surveillance systems on the employees and to control against employees right to privacy. Many sophisticated surveillance software have been developed which have checks on the employee behavior who do work on the computers. For example, a firm had 92,000 employees around the world and it was monitoring its activities which was quite a complex task. So, that firm developed a software to monitor the activities of the employees. In October 2006, the firm had fired 40 of its employees because they were caught in the act of surfing the forbidden websites. The firm's monitoring software recorded the unauthorized visits to shopping and pornography sites and every minute they had spent on those sites was recorded. Now students, let us try to understand another important component that is human resource information system. A well-known company Hyper Payroll Systems has developed the HRIS or the Human Resource Information System for its clients. A HRIS also known as Human Resource Information System or Human Resource Management System is basically an intersection of the human resources and information technology through the HR software. This allows the HR activities and processes to occur electronically. Thus, HRIS is an online solution or a software for data entry and data tracking. It fulfills the needs of human resources, training, payroll, accounting and management functions within a business enterprise. In other way, HRIS is a software that allows a company to take care of the activities related to human resources, payroll, accounting and management. It helps a business to plan the costs of human resources more effectively. It also helps to manage and control the human resources and also control their costs. Many a times HRIS increases a company's efficiency to make the HR decisions timely which results in increase in the quality as well as the productivity of the managers and the employees or 
you can say overall increase in the productivity. Now, the size and nature of the companies is becoming global, which create the problems in recruitment, training, payrolls and HR compliance. Human resource information system provides a solution to tackle those problems efficiently. It is a flexible design as per the requirements and nature of a company's human resource. It also has the ability to create reports and analyze them accurately and quickly. This makes HR department to manage its workforce easily. An HR manager can devote his or her maximum time in strategy making instead of wasting the time in non-strategic activities. With the use of HRIS, the employees can assess and exchange information more conveniently without any paper use. HRIS popular modules, let us try to understand some of the various modules which are available in the human resource information system. One of the common modules is recruitment. For example, for recruitment, you have resume and application management module, you have email alerts, you have organizational charts, you have employee self-service desk, you have rapid report production, you have succession planning and tracking of the employees trainings. These modules help to generate various reports, analyze the data and also help in the HR related activities. But it is very important that a company should invest appropriate time in developing and implementation of the human resource information system. HRIS should fit as per a company's goals, vision and mission. It is not contradictory to the values and objectives of the company as well as the human resource. If a company takes care of all these factors, it is investing in success and bright future. Every company has its unique needs also. HRIS should be customized and flexible. Functions of HRIS HRIS that is Human Resource Information System performs several functions in the firms. For example, grievance handling, attendance record management, appraisal and performance management, training, recruitment, employee record handling, payroll handling, benefiting administration and other activities of HRIS. Benefiting administration. This function deals with those policies which are related to the benefits of employees such as perks, insurance, special allowances, retirement benefits and profit sharing. It keeps a track of the employees who are actually eligible for these benefits. Payroll handling. HRIS handles the payrolls which is a complicated task. It includes various conditions and company's policies. This system maintains the attendance records generates the payrolls according to different terms and conditions and prepare the pay slips. Employee record handling. This function keeps the employee records such as personal details, past professional experience and current company detail. HRIS helps in document generation and document management. Thus, HR managers can control and manage records of large number of people. Recruitment. HRIS helps to organize the activities related to recruitment such as resume management, making interview panel, selection criteria, interview rounds and other important activities of recruitment process. Training HRIS helps in maintaining all the records, keeping appointments and schedules, filtering of the employee list based on their knowledge, weakness and other criteria. These inputs help in better organization of HRM and proper identification can be done for employees while managing the trainings. Appraisal and performance management. HRIS supports activities from collecting reports from the concerned functional departments or all concerned authorities and also includes participation in extracurricular activities, learning reports, etc. These reports are joined together to assess and analyze the appraisal. HRIS helps in analyzing the reports and works as a decision support system for the HRs. 
attendance record management hris keeps record of attendance leave whether it is paid or non paid holidays with the help of smart machines like card or fingerprint reader grievance handling hris is not able to provide much help in these cases except keeping a log file of the same challenges for international human resource management a firm has to face many challenges due to the technological demographical and the societal shifts hr managers need to think to go ahead of all these complexities and achieve the goals the graphic shows some of the top challenges which are being faced in the organizations in terms of the human resource management some of the top challenges which are being faced are the people management the slow growth in the key markets the innovation the government regulation disruptive technological changes etc amongst this we find that apart from marketing it is the people management which is the biggest challenge which the firms are facing some other challenges are described herein number 1 change in the nature of the workforce now the firms may have many kinds of the employees such as employees of different age groups different educational backgrounds people belonging to different demographical areas different religions cultural changes different experiences etc even women are also contributing to the workforce number of women workforce is increasing and there is a challenge to frame the policies accordingly there is a lack of standardization in the education in the global context when scope of business increases it needs to hire talent beyond the demographic boundaries human resource managers are required to scrutinize job qualifications very diligently there are many disparities that exist between the regions and the educational institutions in the countries and between other countries it has become necessary for the hr managers to understand these differences and make the informed decisions the graphic shows some of the challenges for the global skills gap which are going to come in next 5 to 10 years and it shows that it's the disconnect between the skills produced by the educational institutions and the firms needs which has emerged as the biggest challenge in the coming times it has also become a problematic task to find skilled employees especially for the senior positions and the strategic roles many firms are struggling to recruit such human resource with rare ability to guide them in uncertain competitive and unpredictable business environment the lack of advanced soft skills appears particularly acute in many areas particularly the asia pacific and other areas which is causing concern to many global firms seeking a rapid expansion in those regions the graphic shows some of the main weaknesses in the skills of the applicant and it shows the biggest uh, weakness in the skills of applicant is the lack of soft skills particularly the skills such as creativity adaptability and good interpersonal communication the lack of technical expertise comes at a second level and at the third level is the lack of necessary work expertise in the emerging markets most of the graduate populations are unemployable because they lack in these skills it's very challenging for the firms to overcome the shortages of technical and engineering skills as well as the soft skills thus a multifaceted approach is necessary it is not enough to recruit able and skilled staff firms have to make sure that their people are committed productive and do not leave the firms after a short period 
because it leads to incurring substantial turnover costs and wastes all the previous training time which has been spent on them. The graphic shows various employees which are engaged region wise by the firms. A study of employee engagement by Gallor across 142 countries found that only 13 percent of the global workforce is engaged that is psychologically committed to their jobs. A majority about 63 percent of the working population reported that they are not engaged to their work indicating they are not adequately motivated towards the job. A substantial majority almost 24 percent are actively disengaged, unhappy and unproductive and are liable to spread negative attitude to the co-workers. HR managers of tomorrow will have to explore varied retention techniques adapted to the preferences of the relevant individual. The following graphic shows the internal talent management strat strategies most frequently used to retain the skilled workers and improve the efficiencies and it shows that it is a grant in autonomy to the employees in their day to day work is the biggest talent management strategy which the firms need. Change in the nature of work. From last 20 years technology has been changing rapidly. New communication has emerged. Mobile phones, emails, web and video conferencing have facilitated direct interaction with the clients despite being at different locations. It has allowed multinational firms to maintain and manage cross border teams where employees can communicate with each other conveniently wherever they are located. In other words, technology has enabled the international expansion of the firms. Virtual teams have significantly contributed towards the pool of knowledge. According to Economist Intelligence Unit report, a majority almost 83 percent of the executives agreed that a culturally diverse workforce improves a firm's ability to capture and retain diverse client base, but it is very difficult to manage these diversities in the virtual teams. The graphic shows the primary challenges of managing a virtual team in terms of percentage of respondents and it found that it is the misunderstandings due to the differences in the culture, language and inability to read people's expression is one of the most important challenge which has emerged in the virtual teams. Further, there are difficulties in leading the teams remotely and there are difficulties in building a camaraderie and a mutual trust between the people working in these teams. HR departments need to collaborate with the universities, governments, vocational schools and community colleges to provide latest training to all new and existing employees. Technology has redesigned the nature of work which requires the firms to develop new innovative strategies to manage the diverse workforce. An improved information and communication technology infrastructure will expand the availability of talent. An improved ICT infrastructure and increased usage in developing nations will certainly continue to expand the availability of local talent for the recruiters and the HR managers. However, challenges will persist as many potential labor market participants will lack access or adequate technological literacy. HR departments within the global firms will need to engage with the local governments, the universities, the community colleges and the vocational schools to offer an ongoing training and uh, bridge the existing as well as new employees and be, make them ready for the technological change. So students, now let us try to summarize what we have learnt in this whole module. ICT has an immense impact on all aspects of business operations and in the context of HRM, the information technology is having really impa immense impact. Right from recruitment and selection, ICT has an impact on the motivation, job commitment, performance appraisal and almost every aspect of the human resource management. ICT also helps in monitoring and tracking all aspects of human resources and the software. 
In the international context, ICT has brought together the people from across the borders through communication and there is convergence in their thinking and the professional conduct. HR managers are relearning the means to retooling the ICT for improving the organizational performance. Thank you.